Hello everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Telegraph Herald, more than the score. I'm your host Steve Ortman. We're on location this week at Dubuque Driving Range here in Dubuque. I'm told we have a very special guest, uh, just waiting for her to arrive here. Oh, there she comes. Okay, I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to give her a very special announcement. All right, ready? Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, from Dubuque Senior High School, she's a three-time Dubuque City Champion, a three-time Mississippi Valley Conference Super Meet Champion, a three-time MVC Divisional Meet Champion, a three-time Class 5A Regional Meet Champion, and your new Iowa Class 5A State Golf Champion, Maddie Hawkins! Hi. Hey, Maddie. Hi. Wow. <laughs> you had a growing spurt there between golf season and the summer. Wow. How's it going? Good. How are you? Oh, nice try. <laughs> You're standing on the bench. I played basketball. All right. All right. Thanks for joining us on the show. <laughs> thanks for having me. All right, Maddie, thanks so much for joining us on the show. Fresh off a of state championship. I know you've been working on that for, for four years now, leading up mm -hmm. to your senior year. Beginning of this season, take me back right at the beginning of the year, your checklist, looking at you'd accomplished so much already, mm -hmm. regional meets, MVC meets, you know, you placed highly at state. What were the checklists coming into this season? Uh, well, first, city meet, um, and then divisionals. There's three rounds this year, which was a first. Wanted yep. to really get after that one. Uh -huh. um, regionals, I knew I had to play good you know, for our team to make it to state, and we did, which is awesome. Yeah. And then the last one was state, so there you go. There you go. Well, I yep. think it's safe to say you were able to put checks next to all those. Looking at, now you mentioned city meet. Now, you know, it's kind of a first step onto the, yeah. the bigger meets, but how important is it to, to perform well in the city against, you know, competition that you know so well? Yeah, um, the city meet's actually a really fun one for me. You know, play with some local friends, uh, especially Hempstead and Warren. They're really nice. I like playing with them. I really enjoyed it. So that was good for me. Yeah, now, you go to the regional meet, you'd already won, you know, two in a row, going for a third. Take me to that uh, regional event and uh, how important it was for you to, to play well and obviously you won it, but then also for the team to play well and get back to yeah. state. Uh, for me, the regional was a lot about the team making it. I really wanted us all to go together because we've been having so much fun. I really just didn't want it to end for all of us. So uh, I really wanted to go out there and just play my best So for the team. And I think I executed pretty well. I think you yeah. did. And then, so you're going to state. First round, you mentioned we talked all year long, yeah. you know, the state championship mm -hmm. is the only thing you yeah. haven't done, <laughs> so you're really aiming for it. Yeah. You get down there, obviously at state, 5A, highest level, mm -hmm. great competition. Uh, first round, talk to me about that. You finished three back. Um, what was your mindset then after that round, heading into the final round? Uh, going into the first round, I thought I felt pretty good, mm -hmm. but then I started and I figured out that I was actually really nervous, and I was kind of panicking the first nine holes, uh -huh. which is something that I can't do that. Like that's not something I can do. But I pulled it around after the first nine and came in with an okay 74. You know, not great, yeah, okay. not awesome. <laughs> you know, just like to be in contention and whatnot. Yeah. I was three back. I was like, eh, like it's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, not necessarily where I wanted to be exactly, but I mean, I didn't lose it on the first day, which is awesome. Yeah. So after that, that's kind of how I felt. Uh, and then I knew that the second day I had to go out and be aggressive because, you know, you can't leave any out there when you're trying to go for a state championship. Sure. Now, uh, well, what else can we really say about the final round? I mean, yeah. <laughs> four under 67, four under par 67, mm -hmm. you know, your two round total, one of the best in, in state meet yeah. history. What was the big difference? What, what changed from day one to day two that made you put together such an impressive round? Um, it was totally mental, totally my mindset going in. Um, the first day I felt pretty conservative and that's not really it's not really what I wanted to do but that happened so three shots back I knew I had to be really really aggressive and just go after it and make birdies from the beginning and there you go yeah no no, yeah. no matter how you slice it state meet, <laughs> state meet champions is a short list so you've been working for it for four years how good did it feel at that moment when you found out you had won the title it was 
a lot of relief actually mm -hmm. because like all my hard work had paid off and I was just really proud of that but yeah now looking at the team senior you guys were so happy obviously mm -hmm. you made it down as a team as well uh, you're the big senior leader on this team but talk to me about the future with the Rams obviously some yeah. girls have learned from you and there's some youth there it's really mm -hmm. gonna keep this program moving in the right direction it's actually looking really good for them and I'm really happy for them um, they got a lot of good work ethic no, Abby Martin, Sarah Swift, Brianna Felderman, mm -hmm. Ellie Aikens. You know, we got a lot of returners, and they're improving day by day. That's awesome. Yeah, they shall have no problem without you next right. year. No problem, no problem at all. So, but uh, now looking forward to your future, going to Bradley, playing yep. some golf. Talk about that. How excited are you to to move on to the college level? Super excited. Um, like out of this world excited. Actually, sure. um, fresh start. I could really go for something like that. You know. Uh, it just keeps me working, keeps me getting better, and I'm really excited. Sure. Now, I asked you down to the Dubuque driving range here because I wanted to play a little golf against you, but I figured <laughs> if there was going to be any way I had a shot, it'd be mini golf. So, you yeah. ready to try this out? Do I you play mini golf? I don't play a lot of mini golf, to be honest, but let's do it. All right. Well, well on even as a playing field as we're going to get, so let's <laughs> do right. this. All right, we're at the Classic Windmill. The state champion has decided that I'm going to be going first, so fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. What's the matter with you, ball? That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Answer me! Ooh. Oh! oh. <laughs> this is how golfers stretch. Right? Right. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Very distracting, lizard. I don't like you. You're gonna die, lizard! Who are you? Nah, nose gouge, huh? <laughs> Show you how regional mini golf champions do it. Maddie Hawkins lines up on the 18th green with the Dubuque's more than the score mini golf championship on the line. Only ahead by 10 strokes, she needs a hole in one here to wrap up the championship. She's felt a lot of pressure in the past, folks. State championships, NBC championships, but does she have what it takes to win it all right here? Don't crack under the pressure, Maddie. Try. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> well, great round. You're not too bad on the mini golf course. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Alright, good enough. So uh, anyways, want to thank Maddie Hawkins for coming on the show, playing some mini golf today here at Dubuque Driving Range. Uh, personally one of my favorite courses in, in the Dubuque area. <laughs> I love I love the I love the fun stuff, the yeah. loop de loops, yeah. the Ferris wheels. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gives me a shot against good golfers <laughs> like yourself. So anyways, Maddie, we want to wish you the best of luck moving Thank forward you. at Brandley. Thank Congratulations you. again. State championship. What a great ride it was for you at senior, great four years. That's gonna do it for this week's episode of Telegraph Herald. More than the score. I am your host Steve Ortman for myself 
and the state champ. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Hey, Paul, you wanna know something? Yeah. I think she cheated. I swear I saw her deflating the air out of those golf balls. Don't, hey, I, I, I'm not, no, just, just what I think. I just, I thought when I heard and what I saw, I think she was taking air out of those golf balls.